So in this lecture, we're going to look at the solutions for the exercises from the previous lecture. Did you try it? If not, go back. I highly encourage you to do that because this is how you learn, right? So don't be cheating already and just watch me doing it, right? I know it seems tempting and say, oh yeah, I know how to do it. But often it's first when you try it yourself, you actually figure out the small details that's hidden below it. Trust me, I've been a programmer for so many years, I can't count anymore. And I've done this mistake again and again. I think, oh yeah, that's trivial. But often there are some details that your eye is missing and you first learn them when you try typing in the code yourself. So don't cheat yourself. And if you find it complicated and you just don't know how to do it, well, follow along, see me do it, and then try it yourself before you continue to the next step. Okay, let's start. So let's dive down to the first step here. I assume you, we got the introduction to this exercise in the last video. So let's do that. So import pandas. Import pandas. You have to help me here, data reader. So one tr thing you have to remember is the underscore here. And obviously, the import is with a lowercase. But you're probably comfortable about that as PDR. Then import uh, date time as DT. And then import matplotlib pi plot as as plt, and then percentage matplotlib note note book. It's going well for me. Awesome, we made it together. Aren't you happy? I'm happy. Okay, good. Now we have imported it. So let's make a date time objects from start. So let's say start dt, and it should be a date time, date time object. That's how you do that. And 2020, January 1st, and end. Date time, date time, 2020, 12, 31st, right? So that was the first bullet here. Make a date time object start for 20, first, first, and a date time object end for 21st of December 2020. Then read the data from Tigger Netflix from Yahoo Finance with Pandas Data Reader. Okay, let's do that. Let's just make it in a separate ones here. Let's make an extra one here. See. So let's just call it data, data, and PDR. It's not called read, it's called get data. And if you don't remember, right, you start get here and you see, hmm. Mm, Yahoo, right? And then the ticker NFLX, and you take start and end, right? Remember? Actually, it's, yeah, here's the manual is not very well, or the doc string is quite unreasonably short. So you should know that by heart. Okay, here we have the data. And then it says data head. Take the data head. That's the last point here. So we can compare our data with the data down there. And we see actually that it is, you see, it looks similar. Okay, step three. So we need, so what does it say? Make a figure with axis from matplotlib and make a plot of closing price close. Okay, so let's do that. Uh, figure, axis, plt, subplots, remember? Boom. So that's actually it. So now we have the figure and the axis. So now we do the data, close, and then we do the plot of axis, axis. Boom, here we have it. And does this look similar to this one down here? I would say so. You can make a second call on this one if you want. Okay, so step four. So what you need to do here is uh, read data from four tickers, NVIDIA, HP, Facebook, and Google. And we remember we actually made this here. It's not necessary, but it's just a nice way to do it. And then we can actually just copy all these things in here, into this one, right? So now we have all the tickers here. And uh, let's just put it in data here again. So we overwrite the previous data. So we use the same start and end date, right? So PDR. Uh, get Yahoo, no, get data, no, even I can't remember it, Yahoo, 
and uh, we take the tickers remember we could just add all the tickers and it does it start and boom and it is loaded so let's look at the data head as they are asking in the last one and we see here is it similar nvidia hp facebook G nvidia facebook is actually google there and says G here why does it do that i don't know but the uh, price is 39 one, 239 yeah it looks they look the same we are saved okay so far so good so in step five here we need to make uh, four plots in one figure of the closing price of the four tickets from the last step so it's going to look something like this okay so let's try to see if we can figure it out together so will you help me okay so figure axis plt subplots and what was the subplots took it took the number of rows and the number of columns default by one one which we just used in the last one right but we want to have two rows and two columns right two rows and two columns we can look down here we have two rows and two columns of axis okay good nice so now we need to access the data and uh, we have to look at the data now right because it has two levels and we want to have the close and the nvidia here and one way to access that is actually just to say well we want close and we want nvidia right and then we actually put the plot on here and in the plot we need to set the axis and the axis is well, remember, an axis, uh, when you do a subplot with a multiple axis, it is axis by a two-dimensional array. So we start by 0, 0. And uh, you could all, all actually, if you remember, I don't know if you remember that much, also remember the name here would be nice to put in there because it, when we do it like this, it doesn't remember it or it doesn't have it in NVDA. Okay, good. So that was kind of like, this is what we need to do for all of them. And actually, uh, it is a title. <laughs> Sorry about that. I just recalled the title. Okay, good. My mistake. So let's just copy four rows here. And let's say, I can see here it's HP. HP. And remember, we need to update this one to one. And then we have, was it Facebook and Google? Facebook and now we have one here Facebook and Cook oh Cook oh Cook it goes really well and then it's 1.1 and Cook right let's just see this one here and you see what I also said here the layout is maybe not perfect here because I use tight layout in this one down here so I can just show you how I did that but now we actually have the data here because this doesn't look nice, if you ask me, but I didn't ask you to do this. It's just PLT, tight layout. Let's do that. And you see here, now it makes it nicer. Okay, isn't that great? I like it. Okay, so now we need to create individual data frames. And this is where you are. This is, this is amazing, right? This is good practice because when you've not done that before, it's not easy. N, B, D, yeah? and we take the data and how was it you remember the function now we're using yeah you do xs you're good so xs it takes a key so the key is nvidia and what was the next thing it takes the axis so what axis are we working along the zero axis or the one axis well i think it's the one axis and then the level here you see the level here and we need level one right because we have the day where do you have the data actually the header is on level one right so this is an amazing function you just need to have we can just try to see this immediately just to see that we have the data here right wow amazing okay so let's clip that one and just add this one and then we just do it for the others so uh Let's just do a fast, dirty thing here. Copy, HP. We have to remember updating HP. Facebook, copy. It's dangerous to copy, but we all do it. So you should always think when you copy things, then is it time to make a function or not, right? Because if you do the same thing again and again, there's a 
key error. What was I? Uh, good. I put good here, right? Because if you do the same thing again and again, this might be a sign that actually you should make a function because you don't want to redo the same code. But in this case, it's 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 fine. Okay, so in step seven, uh, take the data frames from the last step uh, and save them to CS CSV files. And you should do that for each their own CSV file. So this should be also kind of nice. So uh, NVIDIA to CSV and... Uh, I just wanted to call them Tigger NVIDIA and uh, we need to sign same here HP to CSV and uh, Tigger HP and HP no not HP anymore Facebook to CSV we are good at this right Tigger Facebook and finally we have call it good up there, right? You see, I called it good here again. <laughs> That's not good. Gook. So execute that one again. So we have a good gook down here to CSV and uh, ticker gook. Here we have it. Execute, right? And uh, you can actually go to your to here and see that you actually created them inside of the CSV file. So there you go okay so i hope you enjoyed this one it was amazing and i love to work with these things so i hope you do it too so see you in the next one